No, 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 no. Hey, Kimi. Hola, señor. Señor. Tardes, amigos. So we are excited to be here after getting some recommendations from our video. And where are we? Bosque Los Colomos. And this is, to our understanding, a giant park with a lot of really cool things. Right before this, we bumped into a squirrel who almost ran up into my lap. <laughs> Smelled some beautiful roses and we've only just begun. So we're gonna show you a little bit of what this park is all about. I think it's a park in Bosque. I need to look that word up. And beauty that's here. It's like a forest of, it's like a forest, like a pine forest. It smells so good. Vamanos. Uh, it's kind of rough. Do you want to feel? No. <laughs> Hi. Hi. <laughs> it's a cave. See a creature. I'm gonna try to get up close to it. I think it's a squirrel. Don't forget to squirrel's cry. Alright, we've got it. I'm going to pretend that I have a peanut. I don't know what accent this is. I've been caught! Run! <laughs> we got plenty of lower body workout when we were in Guanajuato climbing up and down all the hills, but we didn't get any upper body workout. We're getting some here. Right here, right now. What am I supposed to do with this? You're ridiculous. <laughs> which reminds us a whole heck of a lot of Arizona. It's pretty sandy, lots of cacti, except the weird thing is they have all these trees in the background, green trees, which is not something you would see in most parts of Arizona. So although we are in the Japanese garden, there seems to be a lot of squirrels, a lot of Mexican squirrels. But the weird thing is they look like squirrels all over the rest of the world. There's a real live ardilla. It's a squirrel. Oh, I think I scared it away. I know. Wait, 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 wait. The duck just pecked the squirrel. Oh, are you guys the one feeding him up? Are you gonna beat me up? Oh, Please no. beat me up. So there's a few things that we just learned about this park that are super cool. It has a lot of stuff to do workouts. So there's basketball courts, workout equipment. There's paths all around the park for running or walking, horseback riding, and picnic areas. We saw a couple families taking quinceanera pictures out here. Lots of nature to see. Seems like a great place to take kids. I believe it does not allow animals here. That's one thing to keep in mind if you're interested in coming here too. Yeah, we would absolutely recommend this. I would come back here and read or something. Yeah, for sure. Because it's just a very peaceful, quiet place to be. And it's beautiful. It's very well maintained and a gorgeous place to explore. If you're looking for something cheap to do one day, this is one thing you could do because it's totally free. You can't argue with free 99. <laughs> we are just finishing up here. We're at 
guided park tour. Thank you so much for the recommendation. We really enjoyed this here. Someone told us we could explore all of Guadalajara in three days. We can't even explore this park in three days. We definitely didn't get to all of it. This was a really great time. We always welcome your recommendations. I'd appreciate that because we're basically, no, we are 100% making this up as we go. So any help that we can get along the way is always much appreciated. So if you have anything to share it in the comments below. We hope you enjoy the little bits and pieces that we showed you of this beautiful park. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to click subscribe. And give this video a thumbs up. Oh, you also don't want to forget to ring that bell. <laughs> so you get reminded every time we post a new video, we put out new ones every single day about our adventures and travels in Mexico. We'll see you tomorrow.